Hello everybody, right, so what I have at the moment is uh, <laughs> a gut full of disappointment that the lesson last week didn't wouldn't do it, so uh, I'm now in Unreal at home, it's uh, 4.18 and it worked last week, so um, and I'm going to post up that video, but I don't see any reason why it's not working. Now the the thing with the BTRs is a multi-wheel vehicle and done a bit of research and the wheel handler for Unreal only handles four wheels. So um, you have to basically write your own wheel handler for more than four wheel vehicles. So BTR having eight wheels means that you have to, in the animation, you have to basically have a four wheel vehicle but copy two wheels. So the 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 front back two wheels are copies of the front front two wheels and the back back two wheels are copied of the back front wheels if you get that um, the wheel handler is right from the start so I will do a tutorial on that when when everything um, is kind of calmed down a little bit. I've had a terrible migraine headache today, so uh, I'm kind of doing this um, when really I shouldn't be. I should be getting better, but uh, it's it's done my head in for the past couple of weeks, so I'm sorting this out now. So this is this will this will work. So at the moment, I've just got my base. I'm just going to grab my player spawn point in um, and I'm just going to do the classic cheese car. So I'm going to first of all, I don't know why I'm not there, import my cheese car. So um, just give me a second. I'll, I'll. Right, so I've got my classic cheese car in and this is done in the same way. I um, as I've done the other things. So first of all, I'm going to take care of the physics asset. So open it up, and I'm going to regenerate the bodies. Um, I'm just going to go for sphere because it's quick and easy for the wheels. And for the center, I'm just going to do a single convex hull. Which I know that body. And that's fine, I'm just going to save that. Now for simulate. Yeah, the wheels will fall off, but that's what simulate's all about. So it's all saved. So the physics asset. So what I want is I want a um, new blueprint class and I'm going to go for a vehicle so wheeled vehicle select wheeled vehicle I call it cheese blue print go into that select the mesh I'm going to grab the cheese car skeletal mesh. Then I'm going to add a component. So I'm going to add a spring chicken, spring arm. And the spring arm should be about 600. You can tell I've done this a few times now. Put it to the back of the car. Now I'm going to add another component to the camera. And that automatically jumps in as a child of the spring arm. Now I'm going to rotate the spring arm a bit. And that'll be fine. Save that. Perfect. So now I've got my cheese car as a um, pawn here. We've got the cheese car skeletal mesh and the cheese car physics asset.
Right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my inputs. So file, um, uh, so edit project settings. Then we go down input. So these are axis mappings. So two axis mappings, one forward and one right. And as I said before, forward is forward and back because it's a whole axis. So um, you're going to have a W for forward, and that's a scale of one. W forward, and I'm going to have an S as the backward. No more things contain S. So that's minus one. Right is going to again be two, so so right is going to be the D key. And uh, the A key. I'm going to down and find the A key. But again, it's going to be minus one. Perfect. Quickly go to settings and then I'm going to um, project settings. Oh no, not project settings. I'm going to go to world settings because we're going to get a new game mode. So new game mode is going to be the cheese school mode. Oh, I didn't like that. Cheese. I'm just going to call it cheese. Oh. New game mode. Name. Oh. It's late. Cheese. And so I've got new cheese mode and the default pawn is because I've made this blueprint. So uh, cheese blue. So that'll spawn in my car. And if you spawn it in there, start the game mode. The camera's there, the wheels fall off, but that's fine. So now to stop that happening, go to cheese into cheese blue. Yeah, eventually. So if you go to vehicle movement, now the vehicle movement, it's a class in here. So if you go, go down to here, if you go to wheel setups, these are my four wheels. These are the four wheels that it has. You can add more array elements, but um, it doesn't really like them. <laughs> so if you expand these four, And if you expand, if you notice them, there's a wheel class, which we'll have to make as a new blueprint for front and rear wheels. The bone name, these are the bone names, uh, and they're in the physics part of one ring. Um, and we'll add those in a second. So it's in the vehicle movement, you add those wheels. So first of all, we need a wheel class, or two wheel classes. Close that. If you go right to blueprint class, and if you go just tap in wheel, it says vehicle wheel. Select. So this is the front wheel. And wheel again, vehicle wheel. Select. This is the rear. So save all. So I can put those on my cheesy blue. And I've also got the bone names. So if you go real vehicle movement, 4A elef elephants. 
So wheel class, this is the front wheel, this is a front wheel, and these are the ones we just made, the rear wheel and the rear wheel. Because my naming convention is basically, I always try and keep it the same. Um, just save this for a moment, I'll show you where it is. It's in the skeletal mesh, if you go to skeletal mesh. There, so it's LFT underscore front underscore joint. And these are the ones we got from Maya into here. And they're pretty, pretty clear. So I'll go back into here. And here. So this is the LFT front JMT. And this is the RGT front JMT. This is the LFT rear JMT. This is the RGT rear JMT. Save that. That's fine. A little bit of housekeeping to get hit rear wheel. If you click this blueprint, it doesn't have a steer, steer clap, steering angle because they don't steer. Let's save that. So now what I've got so far is I've got my the pawn, I've got the car skeletal asset, and I just need to do the animation. So if we go animation. Blueprint and there's a blueprint already the vehicle anime instance car skeleton. Okay, so I call this uh, the cheese underscore anim. Double click on the cheese anim. So I've got my final pose, and this is every tick what it looks like. And it's basically I wanted to handle the wheels. So if I right click here and I go to wheel. Handler for wheel vehicles. We connect that up and it puts a local to component to local on that one. And then I want the mesh space ref pose. And this returns mesh space ref pose. Huh. There we go. So save that, and I just need to link that into the blueprint. So if we go here, vehicle movement, and somewhere up here is well, it's obviously in the mesh, isn't it? Okay, where it says animation, use animation blueprint, animation class, and cheese anim. So it links the the animation into it. Save that. Quit that. Let's see what we get now. So the cheese car is in. Okay. The next thing to do is to sort out the event graph. So basically when I push forward on the keys it's doing stuff. Simple as that. So what I want to do is in the, the event graph, okay, I'm going to put a node for input, and it's got my axis events here, I've got forward, and an input for right. So when I push forward on that axis, it creates in here when I push right, it will create the here. So the forward is the throttle. So let's set throttle and put vehicle movement. Let's link that up. And then this is set steering input. Oh, and that is in there. Perfect. Save that. 
Right, so I've set everything up. I've set the blueprint up. I've set the skeletal mesh up. I've set the wheels up. And here is where we see whether it works. So, go into the game mode by pressing play. Does it work? Yes, it does. That tells me a couple of things. It tells me that that 4.2 is going a bit wrong. The wheels are a bit funny here. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. Um, but you can play around with all these kind of defaults. The car seems to be a little in the ground. So let's stop. car seems to be a little in the ground. Um, the throttle and in the forward and, re and reverse direction seems to work. The, the turning seems to work fine. Um, the next thing I'm going to try, this will come out here, is I'm going to put the game controller and see if the game controller works with it. So if I just pause, uh, I'll set that up. So I've just gone into the engine input and here I'm adding a new mapping for the gamepad. So I'm going to do thumb, uh, the left thumb stick Y and I'm just going to keep it like that and the left thumb stick X for a cross. I don't know whether this will work. This is the best thing about Unreal. So, and it does. I am steering it with my gamepad. It's not a great experience because the the all these kind of visual anomalies. I'm not sure exactly what's going on, but it works. I'm moving it around with the gamepad, which is a small victory. Anyway, that's how to get the cheese car in. Next thing I've got to find out is why the car is actually half in, the wheels are sunk in. Um, but uh, that's kind of for the next video. And I'm going to try and get that BTR working with the right thumbstick, doing the camera and the turret, and the left thumbstick doing the steering and an acceleration. That'd be quite good. Play, I, I play around with the the physics on this and the in the blueprints as well to get it moving like a real car because at the moment it skids an awful lot. Um, as I said, the wheels are in the the ground. I'm not sure whether that's giving rise to kind of this blurriness around the wheels, um, but we'll see. Anyway, I didn't, do, I didn't do anything different than I did in the class, and it didn't work then, so I'm calling it tonight now. So um, I shall see you guys soon. Uh, thanks for watching. Oh, as they always say in YouTube videos, click like and subscribe, and all that jazz. See you later. Um, just as an amendment um, to the last one, the... The reason why the, the wheels were actually sticking in the ground was um, even though the physics asset if I actually increased the wheels to huge sizes of the physics asset, um, it isn't the physics asset, it's in these wheel blueprints. If you go in here and change the shape radius to about 70 on the cheese car, so you play around with it and see what's, what's, what's what, um, save it, then Basically, the car acts as normal and it performs a lot better. There's a lot less of that kind of. It's, it's still doing that uh, visual anomaly on there, but it's a lot more fun to play with. It's less sticky in the ground. So, this is a lot, a lot more fun. It's a lot more progress. So, I play around mm. with that. Again, it's a bit hard to control, so you want to probably want to put a bit more drag on the wheels, but play around with them. Okay. Latest potato.